A ten-year-old girl crashed into her neighbor's living room, telling cops she wanted to kill people. The Louisiana girl, who has not been named, was driving a truck when she slammed into Christina Bryan's car so hard it spun several times and even cut the pavement. Bryan's car was totaled but she escaped with minor scrapes and bruises. She is just glad her young twins weren't in the car at the time, WDRB reports. The 10-year-old girl crashed a truck into her neighbor's living room in Louisiana, telling police she wanted to kill people. Script WDRB 41 Louisville News Moments later, the girl rammed her truck through the living room of a home on New Cut Road near West Indian Trail, at around 2.30 p.m. on Friday. It sounded like a bomb went off, said Joshua Pate, who lives in the home with his family. Everybody was in shock. Everybody's still in shock. Pate's five children were sitting in the living room at the time and he believes their lives were saved by their sofa. The love seat slid around and made kind of like a barrier, the back of it is kind of high and I think the kids just slid with the love seat, Pate said. The girl rammed her truck through the living room of a home on New Cut Road near West Indian Trail, at around 2.30 p.m. on Friday. The girl rammed her truck through the living room of Joshua Pate, pictured, whose five children were sitting in the living room at the time. The Louisiana girl, who has not been named, was driving a truck when she slammed into another car and then rammed the vehicle through the living room of a home. But the most shocking moment was yet to come. Pate says he heard the 10-year-old, who was not injured, telling police the crash was deliberate. Related articles previous. One next. Four members of one family killed in horrific five car. Girl, eight, suffers broken bones and head trauma in car. Share this article. Share script DM. Later, bundle, function, if, DM. Rotator, new DM. Rotator. P24, pages ice, 1, page count, 1.0, active class, active, rotate, false, dollar, number p24.share, dot on, click, function, dms.facebook.posttof, related. The officer, couldn't believe what she said, he said. He was like excuse me, and she said, I wanted to kill people, and he said I'm sorry. What did you say? And she said, I wanted to kill people, Pate said. He added that he is still waiting for an apology from the girl and her family. The owner of the home said that he is still waiting for an apology from the girl and her family after having to repair his property. The girl crashed her car through the wall of the home on New Cut Road near West Indian Trail, at around 2.30 p.m. on Friday, pictured. All we want is an apology from the family, pretty much. We haven't heard from them and haven't heard from anybody, he said. Pate says the Red Cross have offered to help but the family will still be displaced for a month. Brian said that when she first heard she's been hit by a 10-year-old was concerned and she wants to know how a girl even get access to the keys. Both Pate and Brian are planning legal action against the girl's family. It does not appear that anyone has been charged in the incident.